Hello everybody, this is BlueLego22, and this will be a review of a custom creation I have. Now you may not be able to tell what it is because it's huge. And it is very difficult to get the whole thing on frame. So I'm just going to show it to you piece by piece and hope that you can get a picture of what it looks like. So... Let's start down at the bottom. Now this, that white area right there, that whole section, is actually the basement. And you're probably thinking, basements go underground. Why can I see it? Well, there's, I, I, was, I meant to build like a hill, kind of coming down right there. So, I didn't have enough parts, so I just had to make do and do what... Just do this. Leave it like this, all open. Unfortunately. So let's take a look at the exterior first. So on the outside you have some steps to go up to the house. To the front door. The front door opens. Before we go inside, let's take a better look at the outside. So there is a garage section here with a full driveway. And that's the first story, not including the basement. So here's the second story. I really like what I did with those red curved slopes for the roof. I think it looks really nice. And I think this window section looks great. Going up, there is a sloped roof. I'll show you how I got that to that slope in just a minute. Here's the third floor window and then on the top there is just a small storage room kind of like an attic and that side is actually a helipad and I'll explain whose house this is in just a minute after we get through the whole thing so let's take a look at the inside also I'm so sorry about the shaky camera I don't have very good recording equipment, so, yeah, sorry. So this is the living room of the first floor. Now this, in the way, is the TV. That's what the TV looks like. It's just flat screen TV. And that's just the TV stand. And back there, there is a couch and a small end table with a flower pot on it right next to the couch. Here there is a doorway into the kitchen which is difficult to see in because well it's kind of dark in there not many windows but there is a fridge right here and an oven right next to it and way way in the back against the front wall is just a counter with a sink and then right here you've got the in interior of the garage. Now, you'll probably notice that there's a railing right here, just in the middle. It doesn't come up to here. Well, that's because you may see that there's a little scap right here, that, that space. Well, that's because that's your entrance to the basement. And you can see that there are some glass steps there. And... Well, this is this is kind of sad, but this is what it looks like on the end, in, in interior of the basement. Man, I can't talk today. So you can see right there, there is a washer and dryer, a computer desk, and you won't be able to see it, but there is some vintage cabinets right here. From, I believe it was called the Home Builder series. I'm not sure, I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section below. And over th here is another computer desk. And that is actually a... There is a secret function there. So if you were to... If something happened in the house and you had, and you had to escape, you can go down in the basement and come just kick down this wall. And you'd be able to just run out of there. Of course, I added that function in 
after I realized I couldn't make a hill. Because that would make absolutely no sense if there's a hill right here. So let's... This is the second floor, not including the basement. This is the master bedroom. And you have a six-wide bed there. A cabinet. Can't see it very well, but there's a cabinet right there. Flower pot on this computer desk, which I think is great. The look of this room is great, or at least not on camera. You have a communicator right there, a computer, just a, a swiveling chair. And over to the side, you have a paper and a little ornament. Now, once again, sorry about the darkness. You can't see it, but there is a handprint scanner right there. And that is to access the closet, which can be opened quite difficultly. I'll, I'll, I'll show you the closet later. And there is a glass kind of window into the closet. Now, the really great thing about this floor is the roof. I kind of made it slope there, then over here the same thing, how it kind of slopes. And that, I think, is really great. A lot of people that I've showed this house to in person liked that function, that kind of look. And then up to this, the third floor, it's a smaller bedroom with a two-wide bed, a work desk here, and in that corner there is a computer and chair, so it's a small computer desk. And you're thinking, what is that? Well, this is the interior of that, that roof I showed you. So let's take a look at that. You can see in there's some ball joints, and those, that's actually what holds this whole thing up. But, that's also how you access the closet. So I'm gonna pause the video right now. I'm gonna open it up and show you the closet. So this is what it looks like with the roof removed, and there's the interior of the closet, so that's, all, that's the best view you can get of the interior of the closet. Of course, you can remove the clothes, but I won't remove the clothes until you know whose house this is. So now we're up to the final floor. This is the fourth, and there's just a small, this is the interior of the attic slash storage room. Got a barrel and a box over there, and that's it. And then the helipad. Now, time to explain whose house this is. Now, if you're watching this video, and you have not yet seen my introduction video, titled Introducing Blue Lego 22, please pause the video, check that out, and then come back to this moment in the video. Now, the reason being, the owner of this home is the amazing Kim Possible. Now, I've got some explaining to do. I did base this house off of her house, although if you check out her house, it does not look like this. This is the best I could do without any reference photos and just learning about the show. I think I did very well, and like I said, this was inspired by and not exactly her house. Now, that means that, well, this is not her house, but technically it is. In my universe, this is her house. But in the real world, this is not her house. Yeah, does make sense, I know. But, well, that's why there's such a kind of secrety basement, which is not in her house, not that I know of, because this is my own version. So that's why there's a helipad, secret agent, secret agent's jet, or helicopter, small one, lands in the helipad. So that's really the way I'm gonna explain it. I have made some custom Kim Possible character, well, from the series, and that means that it's time to check out the, the, uh, the closet. So this is what's in her closet. A cheer squad outfit, her battle suit, 
And if I'm wrong with the name, I haven't seen the show in a long time, so if I'm wrong, tell me. Her, I guess this is her casual look. A snowsuit and a dress. And her mission wear. Now you will notice the mission wear, casual outfit, and the cheer squad outfit are custom. Made with my own paper decals. So this one has experienced some wear and tear over time. So that's why it looks so bad. So let me show you Kim Possible. Well, she's your basic average girl, and she's here to save the world. Now, this is what she looks like, my custom. And I will do a separate video on how I made her, the parts I used, and her accessory here is the communicator. Now, I have made a custom, her kind of hair dryer slash grapple gun. With a red megaphone I found, but I can't find it right now. So sorry about that. I'll show it in a separate video once I find it. And I think that really wraps up this review. Once again, sorry about the shakiness of the camera and the terrible lighting. I, I'm really sorry. I wish I could make things better, but with what I've got right now, this is the best I can do. So, thank you for this review. What am I saying? <laughs> See, I just can't talk right today. Um, thank you for watching this review. Please like and subscribe. And, thanks. Make sure to put your thoughts about my review in the comment section below. And, that's it. See you later.